A sketch of a woman watching a man paint a picture is beside the title. National Endowment for the Arts, Creative Forces, Clinical Program Overview. Caption, an initiative of the National Endowment for the Arts, Creative Forces. NEA Military Healing Arts Network is a partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs and the state and local arts agencies with administrative support provided by Americans for the Arts and the Henry M. Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine, Inc. The views expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not reflect the official policy of the Department of Army, Navy, Air Force, Department of Defense, the National Endowment for the Arts, or the U.S. government. Voice of Nate McLaughlin, MM, NTBC, Music Therapist, Creative Forces. A photo shows a woman teaching music to a man who uses a wheelchair. Creative Forces NEA Military Healing Arts Network supports the integration of creative arts therapies. A photo shows a woman painting a mask. Including art therapy, music therapy. Another photo shows two people playing guitars. And dance movement therapy. A third photo shows two women standing in a dance studio. One woman holds her hands to her chest, the other has her arms outstretched. In military clinics and VA hospitals across the country. Caption, Melissa Walker, M-A-A-T-R, Lead Art Therapist, Creative Forces, Healing Arts Program Coordinator, the National Intrepid Center of Excellence. Melissa Walker, a woman in her mid-30s, sits in her living room. Creative Forces Art Therapists use standardized assessments like mask making, the bridge with path drawing, and the wellness wheel. An animation depicts a mask, a drawing of a bridge, and a drawing of a wheel. Creativity is written in the wheel's center. A circle around it is divided into eight sections labeled social slash cultural, intellectual, environmental, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial, and occupational. To help determine the goals of the individual patient. A red, black, and green mask has wire wrapped around it. Art therapy allows our patient population to visually express thoughts and feelings about their injuries and identities. Art projects appear. One is a cylindrical container with its lid leaning against it. Inside lay bullets and bits of plastic on sand. Next, a drawing is divided into four quadrants. The upper left reads, Finding My Place, above the word Boom. In the second quadrant, words printed in black marker read, Putting pen to paper to write something profound is simpler than putting bullet to flesh. The lower left quadrant shows a volcano exploding, and a title reads, Master Your Demons. The lower right quadrant reads, Bait, and depicts sharks surrounding a blue circle in the water. That they may not otherwise have been able to describe. A painting shows squiggly black, peach, and gray lines. They can then process these themes with a the therapist. Caption, Liz K. Freeman, MA, BC, DMT. Lead dance slash movement therapist. Creative forces. Liz sits in front of a sunny window. Creative forces dance movement therapist. Animations show people moving in different ways. Use interventions such as mirroring the journey dance method and mind body skills training to gain information from patients that shapes clinical decision making. A hand reaches to touch musical notes. These embodied and movement based interventions can increase self efficacy. An animation shows two people who use wheelchairs holding out pieces of material and help patients reach their behavioral health and rehabilitative goals. Two hands reach for each other, and four people place their hands together in front of their chest as they do deep knee bends. Rebecca Vaudry, EDM, MTBC, Lead Music Therapist, Creative Forces. Rebecca, a white woman in her mid-30s, sits in her living room. Music therapy interventions such as personal music inventory, lyric analysis, and songwriting promote emotional associations meaning-making, and processing of experiences. An animation shows people playing drums in a circle, then two hands hit a drum. Instrument playing supports motor function, musical sequencing, and learning processes that promote cognition. An animation shows a trio playing music. One woman sings and plays acoustic guitar. Another woman plays bass, and a man plays a hand drum. Deep breathing and singing reinforce speech and language. Caption, Sarah Cass, MD, Senior Military Medical Advisor, Creative Forces. Sarah, a white woman in her late 40s, wears glasses. Behind her, a shelf holds knickknacks, a photo, and books. The Creative Forces team is constantly working on building resources for our creative arts therapists. Paint is poured into a tray. These include a series of clinical practice training videos that illustrate how to modify standard interventions for our patients in the military community. A page is titled, Play the Blues, with standard 12-bar blues form and most common keys for blues listed beneath it. Other resources include intervention and evaluation toolkits, standardized note templates, referral documents, 
performance management tools, presentation and brochure templates, standardized assessments, and research protocols. Sharing our research with others in the creative arts therapy world is also a critical part of our mission. Rebecca Vodry. Due to the collective efforts of the Creative Forces Network, we've published numerous articles based on best practices and clinically based research outcomes. Our many articles are available open access and can be found catalogued on our National Resource Center. An animation depicts a person wearing a headset. Lines connect the person to circles containing different images, a guitar, a brush and paint, a paper and pencil, and a figure dancing. Our network also gives us the tools to respond to pressing needs in changing times. Caption, COVID-19. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we quickly trained and mobilized our creative arts therapists to treat patients via telehealth. Liz K. Freeman. Our network of creative arts therapists, peers, leadership, clinical, research, and administrative teams is what enables us to build strong programs and practices and to have the greatest possible impact on military service members, veterans, and their families and caregivers. For more information, refer to the National Resource Center at creativeforcesnrc.arts.gov. Caption, National Endowment for the Arts, Creative Forces.